show you this on these trees just so you don't get carried well it depends on what you're doing eh? but if you if you're going to be putting flocking leaves and stuff on them don't get too carried away right up at the tips like this like I'm doing on this one here sometimes you went when you, you don't put leaves on all the branches okay so I'm assuming that this is going to be one of those branches where I don't put leaves on it but see I've got it you know twisted right up to the end and that's only what half an inch okay that's gonna get buried right in your ball of fluff stuff that you're sticking on top of this okay so you you know you may not see that you know so take your branches out about you know like that about the most day eh? I've got a good one inch one and a half inches on on these okay because that way when you stick them into your your fluff it's kind of you know they're inside I don't know anyways that's the way I've been doing them and it seems seems to work so you have to experiment a bit eh? uh, but you know I'm just giving you a heads up on on labor saving time eh? don't don't get too carried away with twisting them right up to the end and stuff because it's gonna get buried on you anyways so you'll find uh, so here's you know, a couple done out of that are ready to get the the goop type coating on it. Hey, that uh, I'm using that flex paste just because it's really easy and I've got a jug of it right now. So that's what I'm going to use. For Can't remember. Lost it. Anyways. Uh, God dang, hey, just whew, gone. Mm. Half timers. Can't remember shit half the time. Uh, flocking. Yeah, maybe I will goop those and I'll flock one, two, three, four, the five, the half dozen of these. I'll do up a half dozen at a time. Yeah. Half dozen. There, about. I need to make about 50 of these. a lot. That's a lot. Because it takes, oh man, I don't know how long it takes to do one of these. These things are about, well, <laughs> go ahead and make one. Tell me how long it takes you to do it. <laughs> how much would you charge? <laughs> You know, it takes a little while to do one of these. I mean, material cost isn't that bad. But then there's, you know, I gotta try finding the extension cords. So, yeah, your old appliances, you know, coffee pots and all that kind of stuff, eh? Always keep that shit off the end of it. Take them apart. Yeah. And always use it laterally for fixing something down the road or. making toys what else? I'm not too sure how long it takes to do one of these things maybe an hour It's my cap jumping off the bed, no wonder. The fat man do. What's up? He's up into a whole bunch of show dogs. I should take you over to the computer. Take you over to the computer and sit there and read them all off. Man. Crazy amounts of email sometimes, eh? It's really hard to respond to it all. You know, if I have good intentions, but yeah, man, it's kind of hard sometimes to keep up on that. I could spend all my day, all day just sitting at the computer. You know, and uh, 
like, uh, who was it talking about? I think it was Bootleg in one of his new vids here talking about, you know, he spent all last week just, you know, reducing the file size on the video and cropping and stuff like that. Because, well, as you guys know, I mean, I really don't do much editing on my videos. <laughs> They're kind of long rambles sometimes, but and that's only because, man, it takes a flippin' long to do. Yeah, I want to play around a little bit more with that blog TV. You know, the feed, I've got a feed on my website, hey, but I haven't been on in a while, apologies. Only because I don't have a, a you know, it's kind of awkward, eh? It's kind of awkward. I need to get computer into a spot where I can be working. That would make a big difference. This is a small room, so... You can see, that's my work surface, eh? That's, that's it. Well, I got a video of me. I'm like, you were there. Or some of you were. Yeah, okay, so the, the next set of videos... I'll get a tripod-ish type setup so that it's that thing is, is cool. Uh, so for the next little while, I'm going to work on this big scene, and it should encompass just about everything, you know, like you know, for doing gameplay. Now it's not going to be really 40k; it's more historical. Okay, so the next, I I do have all that 40k stuff, the big friggin' hill bunker and all that kind of stuff that I, you know, I'm going to be working on. Uh, I've got this, i got a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm kind of working on. Uh, you know, this, you know, blown up concrete bunker out of the white styrofoam, and, you know, because it's all part of the, those one foot scale pieces for this industrial part thing, the building, but can't do it inside here and I gotta wait until spring until it warms up outside because I got no heat outside. It's just too dang cold up here in the winter to, to be working outside making terrain. It's just not fun. Not fun. No fun in the cold. So yeah, maybe this year I might be able to get the uh, concrete on the floor in there and then get heat and you know an insulation so that it may not be nice, but it, it'll be kind of warm and dry. And then, uh, you know, I can do some things, like make some, you know, decent video of, of how to make something and uh, maybe show a game or two or, you know, should even have a tournament or something. That would be, that'd be grand. But down the road.